Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to study chapter number 4, Angles and Pairs of Angle, practice at number 17 we will be completing in today's video. So let's start with the first question. Write the measures of supplement of angles given below. Now supplement angles we have to find of 50, 15 degree. So let x be the supplementary angle of 15 degree all right so this you all have to write after writing this statement then 15 plus x is equal to 180 degree now 180 why because it's a supplementary angle therefore we have to take 180 if it was a complementary angle then we should have taken here 90 degree now therefore 15 plus x minus 15 is equal to 180 minus 15. Therefore, x is equal to, subtract this, the answer is 165. Therefore, the supplementary angle of 15 degree is 165 degree. Now the next sum is 85 degree. So let the measure of supplementary angle of 85 degree be y degree. Therefore 85 plus y is equal to 180. Therefore, 85 plus y minus 85. 85 I have to add and subtract on both the sides. Okay. So, this will get cancelled. Therefore, y is equal to when you subtract this, the answer is going to be 95 degree. So, the supplement angle, supplementary angle of 85 is 95 degree. Now, third sum, 120 degree. So again the same statement, let the measure of supplementary angle of 120 degree be x degree. Therefore 120 plus x is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, 120 plus x minus 120 is equal to 180 minus 120. Therefore, n x is equal to 180 minus 120 is supposed to be 60 degree. Therefore, the complementary angle of 120 is 60 degree. Now, let's move on to the fourth sum that is 37 degree. Again, the same sentence. Let the measure of supplementary angle of 37 degree be x degree. You all can take any variable children over here. Therefore, 37 plus x is equal to 180. Therefore, 37 plus x minus 37 is equal to 180 minus 37. Therefore, this will get cancelled. Only x will be remaining. Subtract it. The answer is 143. Now, subtraction, many of you all are not going to get it. So, therefore, I am doing it over here and showing you all. So, 3, 7 may say 4 gear. 3 get to 4 and 1. So 143. In this way you will have to subtract it. The fifth one is 108 degree. So let the measure of the supplementary angle of 108 degree be x degree 
therefore 108 plus x is equal to 180 therefore 108 plus x minus 108 is equal to 180 minus 108 so this will get cancelled therefore x is equal to subtract this the answer is 72 again subtraction i will show you in this way you will have to subtract one one will get cancel so 72 is a complement of 108 the next one is sixth one that is zero degree so any angle which is supplement uh, uh, of zero degree is going to be the same x is going to be 180 only so therefore let the measure of the supplementary angle of 0 degree be x degree therefore x plus 0 or 0 plus x is equal to 180 therefore x is equal to 180 therefore the supplementary of 0 angle is 180 seventh sum is a degree so again let x B measure of the supplementary angle of A degree. Therefore, A plus X is equal to 180. Therefore, A plus X minus A is equal to 180 minus A. A will get cancelled therefore only X will be remaining over here and 180 minus A degree is your answer. Question number 2 the measure of some angles are given below use them to make the pairs of complementary and supplementary angles. So first what we will do is we will divide the page few angles have been given we will write the pairs of complementary angles means from these only you all should be able to make complementary angle pairs and supplementary angle pairs pairs of supplementary angles complementary means the total should be the addition should be 90 and supplementary means the total or the addition should be 180 so first one is measure of angle b plus measure of angle n is equal to this is 60 this is 30 which is 90 degree okay so angle b and angle n is your complementary angle second one is measure of angle y plus measure of angle e is equal to measure of angle y is 90 degree plus e is 0 degree so it is going to be 90 degree. So angle Y and angle E are complementary of each other. Now supplementary angles we will find. So first one is measure of angle B plus measure of it can be com a combination of uh, three angles also children. Angle B is 60. Angle G is 120. So the total is going to be 180 degree so measure of angle b and angle g are supplementary angles now measure of angle n plus measure of angle j which is 30 degree plus 150 degree is equal to 180 degree so measure of angle n or angle n and angle j are supplementary angles isn't it easy this kind of sum can be asked in the question and it's very easy to solve now question number three is in triangle xyz measure of angle y is equal to 90 degree what kind of pairs do x and z make okay so the sum of the measures we all know the statement the sum of the measures of all angles of a triangle is 180 so I have written the statement for you all. If, if in case you all have forgotten, this statement is very important. What does this statement mean? Means measure of angle Y plus measure of angle X 
plus measure of angle Z is equal to 180 degree. The sum of the measures means the sum of the measures of all the angles of a triangle are 180. So, हमारे पास से Y है which is 90 degree. So, 90 degree plus the other two angles you all can keep it as it is because we have to find them. So, therefore, measure of angle X plus measure of angle Z is equal to 180 minus 90 degree which is 90 degree. Means the total of these two is supposed to be 90 degree. Therefore, angle X and angle Z are complementary angles. Isn't it easy to solve? Only the problem is you all should remember this statement. This sta statement is going to have marks. So don't forget to write the statement. Now let's move on to the fourth question. The difference between the measures of two angles of a complementary pair is 40 degree. Find the measures of two other two angles. Now over here very easily they have said difference. Difference means subtraction. The bo Both have to have uh, two parts. Okay. The difference means two angles should have same same number of angles so that we can get the, the complementary angles. So first we will write the measure of smaller angle. Okay, there are going to be different kinds of angles, smaller, bigger and one is supposed to be uh, x and one is supposed to be x plus 40. So, measure of smaller angle is x degree. Then the measure, because there is no measures given, so we have to take the measures of our own and the measure of greater or bigger angle, but greater looks okay. So, greater angle is x plus 40 because it is given in the question that it is uh, the two angles should have a complementary pair is 40 degree so x plus 40 so now the statement that we have to write is the sum of the measures of two complementary angle is 90 degree so i have written the statement for you all if in case you all forget it therefore x plus x plus 40 these two you all have to take is equal to 90 complementary therefore we have to take 90 now this will be 2x is equal to 90 plus 40 will change to minus 40 therefore 2x is equal to subtract this the answer is going to be 50 therefore x is equal to 50 upon 2 so, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 5s are 10. Therefore, x is equal to 25. Now, x we have got, kitna hai? 25 degree. Matlab, one angle we have got 25 degree. And the other one is x plus 40. So, x plus 40 means x is 25 plus 40 which is supposed to be 65 degree. So, we have got both the angles that is x plus 40 is 65 and x is equal to 25. Isn't it easy? Now, question number uh, fifth one is triangle rectangle PTNM is a, a rectangle. You all can follow the textbook children. Write the names of the pairs of supplementary angles. Now, a rectangle has been given. I will explain you in short so that it will uh, the concept will be clear with you all children. Rectangle if you will see all the corners are 90 degree. Okay. So, matlab, the, even if you all take these two it will be 180. 90 plus 90 180. 90 plus 90 180. 90 plus 90 180. 90 plus 90 180. Okay. So, all the pairs are going to be of uh, uh, all, all the pairs will form supplementary angles as I have shown you all. So, that only you all have to write which is P, T, N and M. You all can name it according to your will. The diagram has been given in the textbook. So, how are you going to write? First, you have to write each angle is 90 degree. Okay. So, therefore, the sum so again the sum of the measures of supplementary angle is 180 degree. The statement I have written. Now what we have to do? We have to write the pairs. As I said you all have to write the pairs. So starting with the pair angle P and angle T. Second one is angle T and angle N. 
then third one is angle n and angle m just now i have shown you all how you, uh, you all have to find it m and angle p fifth one is angle p and angle n and angle t and angle m is your sixth pair okay so in this way you all have to write these two these two these two and these two which are going to form a supplementary angle now the seventh question is if the measure of angle a is supposed to be 70 degree what the measure of the supplement of complement of angle a supplement of complement of angle a means what first we have to find the complement of angle a okay and then we will find the supplement of angle a also so measure of angle a is 70 degree which is been given this is 70 degree so let the measure of again the same sentence let the measure of complementary angle of 70 degree b x degree therefore 70 plus x is equal to 90 therefore x is equal to 90 minus 70 therefore x is equal to 20 so we have got the complement of uh, angle a that is 70 is 20 degree okay so we will write it then uh, what we have to find we have to find the supplement of supplement of angle a that is 20 degree so again we will write angle a is measure of angle a is 70 degree so same statement but supplementary you all have to write because we have to find complementary and supplementary of the same angle so don't get confused in this way also you all can write angle of 20 degree b y now take different um, alphabets x and y that is y degree so 20 plus y is equal to 180 over here we took 90 so you have 180 therefore y is supposed to be 180 minus 20 therefore y is equal to 160 degree so we have got x complement complementary angle complementary angle is 20 degree and supplementary angle is 160 degree now the last question is angle a and angle b are supplement of each other okay so measure of angle a is equal to y degree supplementary they have given but measure of angle b is x plus y x plus 20 then find the measure of angle a okay so this is why measure of angle b is given in the question x plus 20 degree so a b hai b b hai and we have to find the supplement supplement means 180 remember that so therefore therefore x plus 20 plus y is equal to 180 this complete and y you all have to take Therefore, it is going to be y is equal to 180 minus 20 minus x. Okay. So, therefore, y is equal to when you subtract this, this is going to be 160 minus x. So, therefore, measure of angle A is equal to what is y? y is supposed to be measure of angle A. So, A is supposed to be 160 minus x degree. This sum looks tricky children. But it is same pattern as we have solved the other sums also. I hope the exercise is clear to everyone. If you all are finding anything difficult, do let me know in the comment section. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.